Hey, I hope you can hear me okay today. The last video was kind of, sounds kind of funky because there's six waterfalls roaring in the background here and it's kind of distracting, but it's such a beautiful background. I really want to use it for some videos. Anyway, um, I, I, I wanted to, uh, for years now, I've been seeing these people jogging at five in the afternoon after they get off of work and it's, and they think they're losing fat. They're working off their fat. They're not, they're working off lunch. They're working off the smoothie and the, the protein bar and the energy drink that, that whatever they had that for snacking and eating that day. I'll say this again. Your body has three different sources of energy. First one and the main one will always be food. The food you eat it takes five to six hours to get through your system before it starts fizzing out and not having an effect on you. And most people eat with every two to three hours and they eat too much. And it's kind of silly because what happens is when you eat too much, the excess food that doesn't get used for energy gets turned into glycogen, which is stored in your liver and your body's cells, primarily muscle cells. And the rest of that, that doesn't get used, gets turned into fat. And once it gets turned into fat, it's really, really hard to get rid of it because fat is your body's emergency power supply. It, it's, it never wants to touch it. It's the last thing it ever wants to do is to touch the fat because that's for survival situations. Because way back when we were living in the woods, we didn't eat every day, every two to three hours, or we didn't have three meals a day. We're lucky to had one meal a day. And it's actually healthy to eat and then not eat for a while and then eat again because it gives your body a chance to clean house and get, get start over. But nowadays, we, we're eating all the time and that's not healthy and it's not right. I mean, that's one of the reasons we get fat. The second source of energy is glycogen. Like I said, that gets used up for, depending on how much energy you use. Most people don't use a lot of energy. They just sit at a computer. They sit in a car. They sit in a restaurant and they don't use up a lot of the glycogen. And after about eight to 10 hours, that's only that only then will the body start to use fat. That's why you look good in the mornings when you wake up, you look a little more in shape because you haven't eaten in the last eight hours. And after about eight to 10 hours or 12 hours, your body has nothing to use but fat as an energy source. And that's the key. That's the key for losing weight and fat. Because And bodybuilders know this, professional fitness models know this, and this is what they do. To lose fat and get chiseled, what they do is they, it's called fat, exercising on a fasted state. They do their cardio in the mornings on an empty stomach. This is the most profound secret for losing fat and weight there is more than anything else even more than what you eat. Because after eight to 10 to 16 hours, your body has no choice but to use fat for energy. And actually, energy, fat's a really good energy source, really efficient, and most people have too much of it. Almost everybody has too much of it. And you could live off fat indefinitely, like as long as you have it. They've done scientific testing. Um, I'll try to put some links below if you want proof where they took fat people and they had them live off their fat for up to eight months. And all they gave them was water, some minerals and some vitamins, but they live off their fat and they were fine. They got healthier as a matter of fact, because the fat contains toxins and things. Um, so yeah, you might get a little bit toxic when you first switch over to this mode, but only after a few days, you're fine. The point is you, the only way you're gonna lose fat is if your body has nothing else to use as energy. So that means when you wake up in the morning, do not eat. No orange juice, nothing, no, no, uh, no energy drinks, no protein bars, no smoothies, no green drink, nothing. Just water, if anything. I don't even do anything. What I do is I wake up in the mornings, I do my internet stuff, emails and things for like three, four hours, and then I go do my cardio. I run around the neighborhood, I go swimming, you know, whatever, bike riding, whatever it is that you want to do that's cardio that makes you huff and puff and go, <laughs> you have to huff and puff. You can't just go, oh, no, 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 no. You have to like really go <laughs> like that, right? Really get the oxygen going, get your blood pumping, all right? Uh, you will not pass out. You will not get nauseous. You won't throw up because cardio, where you're just moving your body on your legs, carrying your weight on your legs, that's why I don't really suggest bicycles as, as much as running and walking. Now, the, stu the time when you throw up and you get, na that's when you do the heavy weights and the heavy stuff at the gym and resistance exercises but I don't do that till 2 in the afternoon anyway so I do my cardio around 11 o'clock then I eat around 12 or 1 and then I go at the gym and do the heavy stuff at 2 and this is what all professional bodybuilders and fitness models do is they don't eat in the morning and then they do their cardio 
and that's when they're burning fat. So that is the biggest secret key to losing fat and ugly weight more than anything else, even more than what you eat. Because you're, you have, see, what you, you, your body does is after, like, after you eat, after a few hours, it goes, because mm -hmm. it, it wants, it, it, since it, it's, it's programmed really well, it's pro programmed for survival. So after a few hours, it sends you a hunger signal going, you know what, it's been a few hours. I think it's uh, time we ate again. Just have a snack, something, you know. Have an energy bar. Have some orange juice, whatever. Have some sugar, have some carbs. In, in the modern world, we're more than happy to oblige, right? Because the body never wants to run out of the fuel source and it never wants to tap into the emergency supply, which is the fat. Even if you have 300 pounds of fat, it never wants to touch it. So understand when you get the hunger signal, it's not like, oh my God, I gotta eat. You know, you could go days, you could go weeks without food and you're better off doing that. Um, it's amazing, you could go, like I'm down to one meal a day now. Maybe one and a half sometimes, but I don't need a lot of food. It's what you eat, the quality of the food, the density of the food, that's, if you've got good food and your body's clean and it's efficient, it can run like miles of one drop of food. So stop eating crap. <laughs> anyway, so here's the secret again for um, losing weight. Just exercise cardio in the morning on an empty stomach and try to go as long as you can without eating. Go to like 12 noon, one o'clock. Kara doesn't eat till like two to four o'clock in the afternoon. Look how she looks like. So it's not that complicated. It's really simple. There is no magic stuff you have to take, you know? So eat right and don't, and don't eat till like noon and do your cardio, your walking, your running, whatever it is in the mornings. Make your body use the fat for energy. So, that's one of the most important things that I could tell you for losing weight and fat. I'm gonna give it to you for free, because I'm a nice guy, and I'm gonna give you more stuff as we go. Okay, have a nice day. I'll talk to you whenever. Bye-bye.